so today I want to talk a little bit about synthetic turf. Um, you know, picking the right kind. And on our projects, our customers with TransBlue, uh, you know, some people really know what they want and some people really don't. Um, and the misconception sometimes of what synthetic turf actually is, right? Uh, when a lot of people think synthetic turf on our projects, um, their mind immediately goes to really fake, bland looking kind of putting green, right? Um, I've had a lot of customers say, look, I really want sod because synthetic turf looks so fake and this is what they have in mind okay now for specific customers we install a lot of these putting green turfs they're absolutely amazing of course for the golfers out there the misconception of fake looking grass that looks like this isn't really the case nowadays what we want to get into is something that looks real okay and what i have is this is from one of our local suppliers this is a really big seller um, a lot of our projects a lot of clients choose this as you can see this is this looks like natural grass Okay, and of course this is just a sample, but if you can imagine a big yard, you really wouldn't know the difference. A few of the reasons is the pile height or the grass height. You know, this is about an inch and three quarters, maybe a little bit more, but that's about what natural grass looks like. With this too, it's got a little bit of fescue in it. Okay, it looks really, really nice, really, really natural. It's not too green, it's not too fake. It doesn't look like something in a cartoon, right? It really looks real. It's got that natural look to it. And when you step on it, it feels like real grass. That's the point of getting synthetic turf, right? Is getting the low maintenance. Um, you don't have to water it, but it still looks real. A few things to consider too, when you're picking out synthetic turf, and I like to guide our customers here at TransBlue on what they're gonna be using it for. Um, because of course, if you wanna putt on it, you're not gonna be putting on this. This is probably gonna be more of a fringe type application, right? Maybe chip out of it a little bit to your putting green. But other things to really consider, are there gonna be a lot of dogs or animal traps on it because the weight of the turf is really important so it stays secure to the ground of course it depends on the installation we have a very well followed process on installing our turf so the longevity is there after install but really think about what you're going to use it for right is it going to be a sports field you're probably not going to use one of these turfs it'll be a specific sports type synthetic turf for that application that's why picking out the right turf so you can really get your return on that investment is crucial right because you really want the longevity there now let me show you a few maybe not to choose okay and we don't sell this a lot and i don't really like it because it looks low quality you can see some of these turfs how they differ this looks really really fake really fake looking turf you can definitely tell that it is synthetic it is fake and the color almost seems off a little bit too right even compared to this one you can see really the different the the color schemes are just completely different the other thing to notice is the pile heights are a lot different. Okay, on this one, it's quite a bit longer. The other thing to notice is the backing on these are a lot different. Okay, so when you're picking out a turf, you can absolutely go down to Home Depot and get whatever turf you want. It's gonna be cheap, it's gonna look terrible, and it's gonna be really flimsy. The weight of the turf is important. Okay, it really gives the sustainability that you need during the install and the longevity that you're looking for um, because it's going to be a little bit heavier, a little bit more robust, um, especially for those little ones running around and those dogs and things like that. Overall, when you're picking out turf, the way I like to guide people is what are you really going to use it for? What's going to benefit you the most and what look are you going for? Okay, if you're looking for the natural grass look, which is most of our customers, something like this is going to do it because it looks very similar. Okay. The, uh, the weight of the turf is important, which I like to guide customers on as well. Um, but overall, it's the application and the look. So if you're going for a putting green, of course the putting green, we've got that. If you're going for the natural grass, of course we have that as well. If you want something that looks super fake, I may not be the one to install it for you, but they definitely have it out there. You can go right to your Home Depot and get it for as cheap as possible. So synthetic turf is one of my favorite uh, things to install. It's really clean looking. You don't have to mow it. You don't have to water it. Once it's there, it's there. But when winter time, it doesn't die. It looks green all year long and it looks beautiful. So as long as it's done the right way, you know, here at TransBlue, we have a specific process um, and it looks beautiful every single time. So to summarize, when you're picking out turf, really take into consideration, what are you gonna use it for? Kids, dogs, sports, leisure, whatever the case may be, that is definitely a factor. Um, and then just consider what look you want. You know, do you want it to be more green or not as green? The pile height, they have different heights of the grass, anything from short putting green to about two inches tall, right? 
Um, so take all that into consideration. Let us help you. Let Trans Blue guide you. Call us, let us know. We'll help guide you the whole way. Turf is amazing. Um, and we're here for you. Call us. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe below and we'll hopefully see you very soon. Thank you.